Hey Yogi, welcome back to this uh, sleep series for yoga. Uh, I'm Ri, if you're new to the channel, hello. If you are returning, then welcome back. So in this little class, you just need around 15 minutes. We're going to just be taking some nice yoga stretches to help prepare the body for sleep and just dial down from the day, get ready to chill. Um, so the only thing I would recommend really highly is make sure you do all of your like tech chores before you do this and by that I mean if you are scrolling something on Netflix or if you need to make some like calls or drop some emails out or you just want to do some scrolling anything that involves technology like your phone um, or a, a screen go do all that first make this the last one of the very last things you do before you get into bed the reason being is this is going to really like wind you down and then the technology um, is gonna kind of like heighten your senses again so we're kind of gonna come all the way down ready to chill and then we're gonna be engaged again so do all that first come back and do this Okay, you don't need anything, you don't need a mat, you can be in your pajamas to do this. This is just gonna be some light stretches, so you can do this on your bedroom floor, no sweat. You also do not need to have done yoga before to do this, so don't worry, just have a go. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start in Balasana, which is child's pose. So you have the big toes touching, you can either have the knees together if you don't wanna to feel too much of a stretch, or if you wanna feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside thighs, then you're gonna take the knees wide, so maybe as wide as a yoga mat. Then start to walk the hands forward, send the butt back to the heels. So by doing that, we're just creating some length. And if the butt doesn't go all the way and you're kind of in this zone, don't worry, just keep sending the butt back down to the heels eventually. They're gonna, the heels are gonna be underneath that butt. And then walk the hands out, slowly start to lower the chest, lower the head, drop the forehead to the mat. You can close the eyes here as we just tune in and just start to take some nice long, deep inhales through the nose, if you can. I mean, obviously don't just like stop breathing. We want you to breathe. Um, so keep breathing, but if you can through the nose and that's available, then take some nice long breaths. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. As you inhale, feel the belly expand. Try to really take that breath in all the way down into the belly. We often breathe really shallow and usually very fast, especially when we are stimulated from technology and stuff like that. So just use this to kind of reverse it all. Tell the central nervous system that yeah, we're down for chill, we're good. Coming up onto the fingertips, so creating two little spiders with your hands, that's just gonna give you more of a stretch. See if you can walk the hands further away from you while sending the butt back, sending the chest down. Then start to walk the hands over to the left, come off the mat if you're on one, and lower the chest again. Notice that right butt is going to start wanting to lift, just send it down towards the right heel. Take the right hand on top of the left if you want to feel a bit more of a stretch. That should feel nice down the right side body, down the right side of the back. Walking back into the center, crossing and coming over to the right, dropping down into this twisted child's pose, balasana. Take the left hand on top of the right if it feels good and you get a nice stretch and keep sending that left butt down. So if it started to lift, just encourage it to go back down to where it's supposed to be. Deep inhales through the nose, feel the belly Get bigger, lift the chest, and deep exhales through the nose. The chest will fall, the belly will draw back towards the spine. Start to walk the hands back in. Cool. Let's take one more little stretch. 
come up onto the fingertips, create your little spiders, send your butt to the heels. And then come all the way up, we'll take some cat cows. So come into a tabletop position here first. So you wanna have the knees tracking under the hips and hip distance and the hands underneath the shoulders and really spreading the fingers. Untuck the toes. As you, uh, the other thing is try not to like just check the belly out here. So often we'll just sort of dump in and like this is happening. Try and have some engagement in the belly. So turning on the muscles in the belly, those abs you've got. Inhale, lift the tailbone. So you kind of lift in the butt up towards the sky. Drop the belly, lift the chest, start to broaden across the collarbones by bringing the shoulder blades slightly towards each other. This is your cow pose. As you exhale, let's reverse it. So you're gonna tuck that tailbone under, puff up into the shoulders and take the chin to the chest. Really spread across the shoulder blades, push the floor away with the hands. Inhale, take it back through. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, chin to chest. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral. Lifting up onto the right fingertips. Inhale, take the right arm out to the side and take your gaze to the right hand. As you exhale, try and keep the hips level, but just start to twist the upper back, letting the gaze go with the hand. Inhale here. As you exhale, feed that right arm all the way through the gap, taking the face down to the mat. You can stay here or you can stretch the left fingertips out and away from you. If you've done that, you might want to then start to open up through the top shoulder, looking up to the ceiling. It's just going to encourage the twist. If you want to go deeper, you can take that left hand all the way around. See if you can grab hold of the right thigh or maybe just grab hold of, you know, your PJs or whatever you're wearing. Take a couple of nice breaths. Inhale wherever you are, unwind it all. Take the um, hand back to the side of the face and sweep that right arm all the way up. We'll twist once more. And exhale, hand down, reversing it, coming up onto the fingertips of the left hand. Then as you inhale, take that left arm straight out of its socket, take the gaze with you. As you exhale, keeping the hips nice and square, start to twist. Taking the gaze up to the top hand. And then as you exhale, feed that left hand through the gap. You can take the right arm out in front, come up onto the fingertips, rolling the torso up towards the ceiling by looking under that top shoulder, that armpit. Or taking the right arm up and behind and scooping it into the left thigh using the pull that you've got of whatever you're grabbing hold of to just send that left shoulder uh, that right shoulder back grounding the left shoulder into the mat we're just taking a nice twist here and then inhale wherever you are take that hand all the way back up to the sky and as you exhale plant the hand next to the face unwind lifting the left arm up for a twist and dropping it back down, cool. From here, let's take a little cat cow just to flush, 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 flush that out. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the chest. Encourage the shoulders to draw back a little. As you exhale, reverse that. Take chin to chest, tailbone tucks under, push the mat away. Come back to neutral, cool. Come down onto your forearms and from here take the knees back drop the belly be gentle we're coming into sphinx pose so untuck the toes and make sure that the shoulders are 
uh, tracking over the elbow. So you kind of don't want this. Uh, we want to have elbows under shoulders, palms flat to the mat or to the floor and spreading the fingertips. We don't want to just check out here in the lower belly because what that's going to do is crunch the lumbar, the lower part of the back. And that's actually something that we want to try and keep nice and long. So just gently tuck the tailbone under. So as you do that, it's a real micro movement, but it just releases pressure from the lower spine. Then as you inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Imagine that you're trying to draw the body through the arms. So imagine you're trying to grip the mat or the floor and pull yourself through. So this, you should feel this, you know, this is working a lot of muscles in the back body. And because we're tucking the tailbone under, we're kind of working the legs as well. Press the feet into the mat, lift the gaze a little bit higher, lift the chest. Nice, and then release. From here, take the right hand on a diagonal. So take the right hand to the left, creating a diagonal with this right hand. And then look back at the right foot. See if you can bend that foot in towards you. It may not go very far, it depends how often you stretch. And then come up onto that right arm and see if you can sweep back for this right hand. If you can, clasp the fingertips on the tops of the toes and just start to really gently send the foot down towards the butt. Being gentle here, this might feel really strong on the quads, the big chunky muscles at the front of the thighs. So just go to where feels good. Try not to collapse into the right shoulder, so sit up nice and tall. And release. Switching sides, left hand comes across to the diagonal. Bend the right knee in this time, look back. See if you can take hold of that right foot, clasping the fingers on top rather than kind of grabbing the ankle. So grab the top of the toes and just encourage the foot down. Don't worry if the foot doesn't reach the butt. As I've said, it's just really gonna depend on, you know, how much movement you've taken today, plus generally how often you stretch. Don't dump into that left shoulder as I am, try and press into the left elbow to lift you. Take some nice inhales and exhales, in through the nose, out through the nose. And release, cool. From here, slide that left knee, um, take it to a right angle. And then slide your right arm under and use that slide to spin you all the way onto your back. So you're keeping this right uh, left knee bent, sorry. You're taking the left arm out and away from you. You're gazing towards the left. The key with this posture is to worry less about how far the knee is going over and worry more about grounding the shoulders down. So we're taking this nice supine twist. I have no idea what the name is for this. I'm not even sure if it's got a name. It's just a nice twist. <laughs> Keep grounding shoulders down and then when you're ready bring yourself all the way back to where you started so coming back into this kind of funky shape with the left leg then bring the left leg in let's do the same with the right so taking the right knee so that it's at a cut like coming out directly from the hip creating a right angle with the knee joint and then slide the left arm under, drop the left shoulder and spin around. So you might have to wriggle around a bit and then really drop this right shoulder down, take the hand out, use the left hand if you like to gently encourage more of a twist, but make sure that you're not pulling yourself so much that this right shoulder lifts. Drop the right shoulder down. We're twisting from the upper back. If it's too much to look at the right hand, you can look up or you can look to the left, but just keep sending the right shoulder blade down. Keep breathing. 
in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's take one more together. From here, drop this right butt to the floor and then wriggle yourself back onto your mat. So your choice, you can now, you're done, you can now jump into bed, that would be my choice if it wasn't like one o'clock in the afternoon or whatever. Um, or you can take Shavasana here. So if you're taking Shavasana with me, then you're gonna take right foot to the right corner of the mat, left foot to the left corner, drop the hands down by your side, slightly tuck the chin. So don't have the chin kind of hiking up to the sky because then that's creating a bend in the neck. We want the neck nice and long. Palms facing to the ceiling, close down the eyes. So you can stay here for as long as you've got. No controlling the breath anymore. Just let the breath go into autopilot. I hope you have enjoyed your little sleep yoga and you have a great night's sleep yogi. I'll see you soon. Namaste.